Welcome back to Change Through Pain. I hope this video finds you doing well. I hope you're living your life in each moment uh, in gratitude to the best of your ability and learning from every uh, thing that is presented to you as an opportunity to just become stronger and become a better version of yourself. Men and women each have feminine and masculine qualities. Most men traditionally have more masculine qualities than they do feminine. Uh, but but it, it just kind of depends on the person. And women traditionally have stronger feminine traits. And I would say number one, you need to first understand who you are and what drives you. And so I'll speak as a man, as that's my experience, and I'll share how I handle these situations now and maybe how I used to handle them. So previously, I didn't under really fully understand who I was and what my purpose was. I was driven by career. I was driven by achieving and success, which are masculine traits masculine qualities and if you want to have it described simply you've got a river flowing and the water that's flowing along is the feminine part of the equation and the rigid shoreline that the water is flowing against and slowly eroding away is the masculine part of the equation. And so the feminine flows along and needs that constant movement, that constant conversation, and those flowing of emotions to keep, in most cases, her moving along. And the man is rigid trying to confirm not conform, but control in a way and have power and guide and direct. And so the bank of the river is what's guiding and directing and taking charge of the movement of the water as it flows along. And so that's a pretty simple way to describe it. If you could just picture that in your mind, every time these situations present themselves to you. So think about yourself. How do you handle certain situations? Do you immediately handle a situation and respond out of emotion, which would be the feminine, or are you very rigid and you just make decisions and you don't really think it through fully, or you go from, I'm very calm and content to very worked up and rigid and potentially angry because you are challenged and you're very masculine and you don't understand that you need to slow down, pause, reflect, and feel the emotion of the situation and don't react immediately, but pause to think before you respond to say something that's going to be more productive and less offensive potentially. And it's not going to put the other person on defensive. And so... What I would do in my relationships or when I met someone I was dating and they challenged me, I would, I would try to uh, basically solve the problem or show my authority or use my ego to be in control and to have power over the situation. And is that what a feminine person or woman in this situation wants? No. She wants to be seen, she wants to feel safe, she wants to be heard, she wants to feel loved and feel comfortable to open her heart and express herself to you without fear of being made to feel less than or made to feel like she's too emotional or she's too erratic or she's not stable. Those kind of some of those comments that a lot of men make when they're in their masculine identity. And so I was pushing these women away and I have been married and I'm divorced and I never understood that. 
And as I have learned over these past almost two years, and it's, it doesn't seem like that long when I reflect back, but it's almost been two years since I've been working on myself and working to improve these things and understanding myself and understanding how to react and respond and allow life to flow and to love myself and to build myself up and to be content with who I am and appreciate my solitude and then give back the energy that I have created within myself, which is I love myself and I, I understand and appreciate who I am. And so when I encounter others, who are either masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. They can sense and receive my energy. And I try to vibrate on a high level as often as I possibly can. And if I find myself getting caught up in the masculine and trying to control and trying to solve and create a solution for something that doesn't necessarily need that, I slow down, I pause, I breathe, I step away and I refocus and I focus on what I'm thinking, how I'm going to respond to it. I center and ground myself and then I bring myself back to a nice state of flow, which is the feminine. And when you can discover that part of who you are, especially as a man being so masculine, it's a game changer and you're able to connect with other people on a whole nother level. You're able to connect with yourself. You're able to open up to others and gain an entire new perspective on relationships. And you may lose some people in your life. And again, I've said this before, it's not really a loss. It's a gain for you in respect of yourself and empowering yourself to be a better person by those you surround yourself with and those people that are no longer in your life were most likely only in your life for a season and they're no longer good for you as you go through this process and it's it's all part of the awakening process and once you pause slow down and accept the fact that you are not in control of anything other than how you respond and react to the thoughts that in your mind and the things that are said and done to you, which I look at it as those things are done for me to test me and to teach me what I need to work on or what I need to heal those triggers. If I can get to a state to where I am so calm, so content and understanding and empathetic when something happens for me to teach me, I'm in a place to respond in the right way, in a loving way, with an open heart. And it's so powerful if you can learn this. So this might be a little bit confusing, but I promise you, if you just follow the steps of meditation every single day, Listen to the thoughts that are in your mind, but don't respond and start to reprogram your brain to think about how you can learn from this and don't react and then replace any of those negative thoughts with things that can build you up. Empower yourself. Think about why you are a good person. What is so great about you? Well, there's lots of things. What's so unique about you? What do you have to offer? You have lots to offer. And if you believe in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul that you have everything that you need with inside you and that you have so much to offer this world, this universe, and the, those that you encounter, you'll start to believe in yourself. You'll start to let go of those hurts and traumas. You'll start to heal yourself. You'll start to vibrate in a better place with a better energy and emit that in the world, into the universe, to those around you that you encounter. 
and they'll start to respond to you. Some may not be prepared to receive what you are giving back, but eventually they're going to wonder, how is it that you are always in such a great place? What is it that this person is doing? And you can explain to them and you can share with them and you can show them that it's possible for them to also do what you've done and what you're doing every single day. It just takes a little bit of time and practice and creating new habits to create this new lifestyle. And I promise you, if you start right now and focus each day on living in gratitude in each present moment, you are going to be so far along six to 12 months from now, you won't even recognize yourself when you look in the mirror and neither will those that you spent time with for so long. And you may just find yourself in a brand new place in life and you may decide that I'm going to make changes, my mental state, my physical state, my location, my job, my friends, even maybe your family. So I hope you found some value in this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, if you just want to dive a little bit deeper, feel free to send me a message and I'll be happy to chat with you and break it down a little bit more for you. I can recommend some books, some podcasts, and some videos for you to watch that'll help you understand the journey. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Till next time.